What's up, Concert Addicts? Johnny Kinsvater here with Concert Addiction with some shitty festival news if you live uh, in the Denver area, I guess, because this festival wasn't too well known. It wasn't very old. They just did their second year last year. Well, they announced it. They're not going to be doing a third year. That would be the Velorama Festival, and I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, this wasn't for me. It wasn't marketed at me. I don't know any of the bands on the lineup or any of the artists, rather. Um, but it was a pretty big deal. It was a cycling and music festival and craft beer and food trucks. So it's pretty cool music festival with some new elements, you know, with the bicycling and things like that. Uh, it was a pretty unique idea, but I guess it didn't work very long. I'll read the statement uh, that I that they posted. It just says, Thank you, everyone. The Valorama Festival will not return in 2019. We're focusing our resources and efforts on the Colorado Classic, which we are transforming into one of the top women's standalone bicycle races in the world. So it seems like they're moving away from the music aspect of this, which is too bad, but... I, I don't think that it's going to be gone forever. I think that uh, they're probably just going to take a break from it for a while, maybe come up with some new ideas, maybe figure out why this might not have been as successful as maybe it could have been. And I honestly don't know. Maybe it was a huge success. Maybe that's not at all why they're not doing it. I, I mean, usually that's what you think, though. When something's not returning, it's like, well, that's probably because, you know, they're losing money or it's not being as successful as they want it to. But we don't actually know that. It could really just be that they want to focus more on this other thing. Like I said, it's too bad because there's not too many um, events like this that combine like cycling and this kind of music. So for people that have those interests, this was kind of a cool thing. So it's too bad it's going away. But uh, like I said, I don't know any of these artists. But I'll tell you who was involved in last year's festival. Uh, and these artists I recognize because they're big. I'm just not familiar with them. But... Glass Animals, uh, The Kills, Cold War Kids, Vince Staples, uh, Matt and Kim, Colts, and Wilt Wildermiss. Wildermiss? I don't know. They were all involved with this thing. And uh, Vince Staples is pretty big right now. He was pretty big last year when he played this. Obviously had that massive tour of Childish Gambino last year. They got some big names for this. And so the fact that it's not coming back can only make you think that it can't, it wasn't successful. But... Like I said, I don't know. It's too bad. And hopefully we can see something like this again in the future because I'm always a fan of uh, mixing elements, especially when it comes to music festivals. One of the funnest things I did last year was the Sabroso Festival, which was the, the taco and craft beer festival that was also a punk rock festival. They also have punk rock bowling and things. I like when elements are mixed. So it was a great idea, and maybe it just didn't go off the way that they thought it would. So maybe they'd go back to the drawing board, and in a couple years, maybe even next year, we see them come back with it. But for now, there's no more Velorama Festival, and uh, that's too bad, because even though this wasn't for me, I'm always down for a music festival. I think they're great, and the more of them, the better. So it is unfortunate, but it is what it is, and like I said, we'll see what the future holds. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like it if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash concertaddiction. And if you subscribe to the channel and like the Facebook page, you shouldn't miss any of any concert news that comes out. We're always posting on here. We got daily content coming out on the Facebook page as well. So festival lineups, tour announcements, anything like that, we're talking about it all there. So uh, make sure to uh, check it out if you're interested. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time.